everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. What up, SMT Nation? Just a quick video for you guys here today. AT&T just turned on a new 5G Plus site here on my commute to work. This is probably site number 5 on my commute to work. And it's showing really good uh, really good performance, relatively speaking. And the reason I say that is because I don't think the site is that close. So that's encouraging to see the throughput on the downlink and uplink. Alright, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy that more of the N77 C-band has become available on a just a general vicinity standpoint. Uh, we're here in North Olmsted, Ohio. Uh, we're at the overpass of I-480 by Great Northern Boulevard. And the performance is good. 311 down and 6.5 and up. The uplink throughput could be better. 37 ping, 9 jitter. That could improve too. I'm, I'm probably a little bit closer to the site now, I think. I think it's a rooftop, uh, if I remember correctly. So... We'll see. It looks like they just turned it on. It's one of those things where I wouldn't be able to access, like, the view of it uh, because it's so far up on a rooftop. It's on top of this apartment complex, I think, over here. I'll see if I can get you guys some footage. I am driving on my commute, so I apologize for the for the road noise. And I'm keeping my eyes on the road, so I'm sorry for the shaky video. But this looks good. Um, it looks like the downlink throughput, that's about as good as it's going to get for now on the 40 megahertz until they start combining uh, both the DOD and the C-band uh, for the full band access. Uh, 357 down, 38 up. You'll see that now that I'm getting closer, uh, the uplink throughput is improving. All right, so there is the high-rise apartment. Com that thing's like 20 feet tall, or uh, 20 stories tall. It's really big. Uh, and T-Mobile's up there, and Verizon's actually on uh, the building that's over there. I don't know if you guys could see it back there. All right, so 357 down, 38 up, 34 ping, 16 jitter. There's some improvement that could happen there. Again, they're still densifying, so I expect the throughput to get better. I expect the performance to improve as things densify. Uh, but they are definitely cooking with gas. AT&T is pacing at least as fast as Verizon. They might be faster, right, in terms of just the rate of upgrades. Just Verizon started before them, right? So... Um, let me see if I can, now that I'm on this other sector, let's test it. Alright, so 5G plus upper right hand corner, 37 ping, 9 jitter. Now we're really close to the site, we'll probably lose some throughput because of that. Uh, but I'll give you guys this last test here, uh, as I kind of drive away from the site. Alright. Alright, so 315 ping there. Yeah, that uh, uplink throughput improves when you get a better signal in sidearm. So, 32, pay, uh, 32 on the uplink. Uh, how's AT&T 5G Plus scaling in your market? Curious to see how they're doing in your neck of the woods. They're doing major, major things in my market. Uh, again, T-Mobile's got the 5G you see. You know, generally pretty well distributed here. Uh, Verizon has closed that gap. They're basically matching coverage, basically pretty close. And then AT&T is getting there too. So, impressive stuff. It, it, literally, it's Monday morning, right? And it looks like maybe AT&T did some upgrades over the weekend or over the last few days. And I have just haven't seen the crews. But uh, 5G Plus is like... It's got two specific new locations that I wasn't picking up last week. All right, so here I am picking it up from range. And I don't know when and how they did this. I usually drive by this site. Uh, but you'll see that's at from, from some decent range. That's about a mile test. So this is really good. 232 down, 27 up, 30 ping, 2 jitter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and test this again as I'm near the site. But there's the uh, there's the site right there. I'm in Westlake, Ohio. All right, I'm on Dover and Center Ridge. And that's the site. I don't know when they went up there and did this. Uh, it's one of those stealth macros. It's not very tall, but uh, it takes care of their coverage issues and their gaps. And the performance isn't that great, but... I mean, that's pretty good, and I didn't even see them upgrade it. Uh, so I do think that is the site that I'm connected to. I doubt it could be anything else, because nothing's within, like, two miles. Uh, so I think they went up there and did the upgrade, and I don't know if it's got the proper backhaul. It might. I don't know. Uh, but 236 down and 46 up, and it is show. it was showing 5G+. Plus. I wonder if that's just 
intercell aggregation possibly uh, so maybe I can't confirm it for sure yeah maybe it is intercell aggregation and I was picking it up before uh, but regardless uh, it looks like the 5G plus it's finding its way to new places be on the lookout for AT&T's C-band upgrades whether it's through like the um, I guess they call it dual connectivity big shout out to Ricky uh, for uh, for letting me know what that term is when they like connect it from other cell sites all right 207 down and 27 up 39 millisecond ping and 13 jitter all right I'm on my way to work and we're, I'm finding new signal you know in places I wasn't getting it before so these are exciting developments in my market I wonder how things are for you guys you know are you seeing upgrades and modernizations like I am so um yeah I'll, I'll continue to monitor this at and is moving fast uh, they are efficiently upgrading tower sites effectively upgrading a lot of sites uh, at the same pace or maybe even better than Verizon just Verizon started first so it feels like they've got more coverage with their N77 C-band mid-band build uh, but it, it looks good and I can't wait for this to start combining frequency right so this is just 3.7 or 3.45 for now out of the N77 channel once that starts aggregating with the uh, with AT&T, we'll, we'll love to test that as well. So more videos coming, more coverage on this. Uh, like, share, and subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description, all things going on with the channel. Um, appreciate you guys very much for watching. Uh, words of goodness for you as we head out and we ride out of this video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great, so go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you guys soon.